Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your dog, and I'm back with another video. Um, this video, as you can probably tell from the title, is about our stimulus checks. And I just have two brief points to uh, make about those stimulus checks, and let's get right into it. All right, a trigger warning. The points are A, those stimulus checks or any sort of financial um, welfare for the country would have been better off coming from President Trump. And B, I mean, harsh as it may sound, niggas don't deserve it anyway because they're going to give it right back. In October of 2020, during the uh, presidential campaigns, um, President Trump introduced the Platinum Plan. The Platinum Plan was a proposition to set aside a half trillion dollars exclusively for the black community. And by exclusive, I mean only for black people. Within that agreement or proposition, there were some provisions. Some provisions that would further behoove black people and black people only. These provisions were there because the proposition was not written by President Trump or any Republicans, any career politicians or fake news media or anything like that. It was written by a black man. A black man who understands the struggle and who's been there and not only understands the struggle, but went from rags to riches in an environment that's totally set up against him. And that black man is Ice Cube. Of course, uh, we had Trump derangement syndrome at the time and every coon such as D.L. Hughley, Plies, the list goes on and on, fell out of a tree and said, oh, you know, well, he's just doing this to get the black vote. It's a desperate last minute attempt to win the election, blah, blah, blah. So they basically went on a mindless campaign to overlook it and vote for Joe Biden. Uh, there were some provisions, as I stated, that were in the Platinum Plan. Um, one such provision was the abolishment of prosecutorial and judicial immunity. If you don't know what prosecutorial and judicial immunity is, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, <laughs> you probably don't. Prosecutorial immunity. Okay, let's say, for instance, a guy is falsely arrested uh, goes before the judge and is erroneously convicted and put away for five years of his life. Later on, it's discovered that the guy is innocent and the prosecutor lied and the judge was a racist clan member and they forced the guy into prison. If the evidence comes out and then the guy is then released, he would, of course like to recoup some of that time he lost off his life. And one of the ways he can do that is by suing the people who put him there. Prosecutorial and judicial immunity says that you cannot sue the judge or the prosecutor. Wherefore, prosecutors and judges are free to do whatever it takes to put niggas in jail. So and that was one that was one provision that would behoove black people exclusively niggas <clears throat> turn that down all right now fast forward to the stimulus package because your memory is short and mine isn't i will remind you when the stimulus package was introduced it had some provisions of its own provisions such as um funding for gender studies in india or funding for abortions through Planned Parenthood, which is the number one black baby killer in the universe. 
and it only offered the American people a $1,200 stimulus check. President Trump said, no, we should cut out some of those provisions and give the people $2,000 at least. Black people didn't want to hear it. So, under insurmountable pressure, the president signed the agreement. Some of us have received a $600 stimulus check, but we've been waiting for weeks for the remaining $1,400. In the time that we've been waiting, prices have gone up on not only gas, but everything. In the meantime, Indians are studying how to be um, trannies or the best way to use the world's resources to justify being transsexual and so on. And they're also committing the world's resources, the taxpayer resources, to aborting kids through Planned Parenthood. Recently, the fake news media announced that Joe Biden has signed the agreement and he's only signed it because the provisions were left in there, the provisions for everything from abortion to gender studies, you name it. They were left in there. So the president, like I said, under insurmountable pressure from the fake news media, went ahead and signed it. And yeah, we are supposed to get $2,000, but we've only got 600 so far. But uh, I know those other provisions have been paid already. Now, we have people on social media desperate to make Joe Biden look good, calling him Moneybag Joe and literally making memes of him in blackface, which I personally think is distasteful and disingenuous because um, I thought we canceled blackface a long time ago. And if anybody else did it, it would have been a big deal. But because their lame duck, lame horse president is the one that's pushing it, they have to double down on their poor decision, their decision to cut off their nose to spite their face. To be succinct, we should have voted for Trump because we would have had, all of America would have had $2,000 stimulus check and possibly more because we would have had more money to throw around. Furthermore, black folks would have had the platinum plan, but they threw that in the gutter because of really, let's face it, anti-black male racism. They couldn't live with the thought of niggas coming up. They couldn't live with the thought of that. So they were like, what about the kids in cages? What about them? And currently, to date, although niggas do what they do, celebrate failure, they everyone is celebrating, uh, we're getting a $1,400 check. You don't know anybody that's seen that $1,400 check or deposit yet. The fake news media keeps talking about, oh, it should be here soon, it should be here soon. It's long overdue, and you still haven't seen anything. So good luck with that. Which brings me to my next point, B. As harsh as it may sound, and as much as I hate to say it, I mean, what the fuck is niggas going to do with $1,400 anyway? Since the price of gas has gone up, the price of damn near everything has gone up, a lot of jobs have been lost, you can feel the generational poverty for the next 200 years looming over you like a dark cloud. If you ever do get that money, due to the cost of living adjustment, it's going to seem like peanuts. As the meme says, by the time you get it, you're only going to be able to afford four gallons of gas with it any damn way. Niggas been starving, you know what I'm saying, for these past three months. they're gonna As soon as they get that check, they're going to pay their rent 
pay a couple of bills, fill up their cars, and it's going to be gone. Which brings me, brings me back to my second point. If you ever watch Killer Mike's documentary, I forgot what it's named. I don't give a damn, really. But it's a statistical fact that the dollar only stays in the black community for six hours anyway. And due to the fact that niggas are so desperate and thirsty as it is, as Joe Biden and his administration orchestrated it to be, excuse me, as Joe Biden and his administration orchestrated it to be, soon as that check comes, if it does come, you're going to have to give it right back to the light company, uh, the property manager, the owner of your rental property, whatever, uh, the gas places, which are all white. And as soon as that shit hits your bank account, it's going right back into their pockets. So yeah, very poor decision on our behalf. And I'm going to need for us to do better.